new moon in Libra on October 19th. Business partnerships or any kind of negotiated agreement that join Jupiter and Mercury. This is in the nakshatra of Chitra. Of course, the new moon is the time when we have a new beginning around that theme, whatever the theme is, of that sign. And of course, Libra is the sign of getting along with others, compromising, yielding our power to the power of a relationship or a connection or another person. And this takes a lot of work, right? Because our ego and our individual self, our individuality, is focused on our own needs and desires. And so the first, you know, thing that we instinctively gravitate toward is satisfying our own desires and doing what we want. And this is why that sign of instinct is Aries. Aries is that sign of the sort of animal instinct that says, I need to assert myself and I need to survive and my needs are important. And we need to have that instinctive sort of person, you know, we need to embody that instinctive nature first. That's why that's the first sign. The halfway point is Libra where once we've established an instinctive connection to our individuality, then we want to share that with another. And sharing that with another is the Libra principle. And so when we reach out to share with another, it pulls us out of our own kind of instinctive self. And in order to do that, Again, there's still our own desires um, in the mix because we want something for ourselves. We want to experience pleasure, beauty, happiness, and we know and and we want to sort of multiply it and magnify it. And that's what Libra is. It's where we are interested in sharing beauty, happiness, joy with another, rather than just experiencing pleasure and happiness for ourselves, we want to share it with another. And we realize that when we're able to do that, it magnifies. And this is the quality of Libra. And so for the next 30 days or so, that's going to be the big focus in our life. In one way or another, we're going to be looking at how much we value others, how much others value us, how, how selfish we are when trying to fulfill our desires and how isolated we may be um, when we try to get along with others. You know, those things that interrupt our connection to not just romantic partners but with other equals. Because Libra is really the sign of our interactions with other equals not parents and children, not boss and employee, but the relationship that is purely with our peers and with others that are, that where we're trying to fulfill our desires. And here's the thing to understand. It's, it, it also has to do with business partnerships and other situations where I can own where you can only or I can only satisfy my desires and satisfy my needs with your cooperation so if you and I were in a Libra kind of relationship it doesn't have to be a romantic one but it's a situation where I can only get what I want from that relationship with your compliance and your agreement so this is why it's also related to business partnerships because a business partnership is also very much like a 
kind of marriage of sorts because there's an agreement and and an, and a romantic relationship is very much like a business relationship to some extent it means that every relationship is different in the way in the negotiated boundaries and all of that they're all different and they're arrived at by mutual consent and again the thing to understand with Libra energy is any kind of situation where I can only or you can only fulfill your desire with the other person's consent and when you do that you both get something bigger that you couldn't have gotten on your own without their consent this is why of course one of the simplest negotiated agreements like that is sex and I mean sex with another person and I don't mean to be glib about that but especially like in Western astrology you see sex is related to Scorpio and you see all this stuff people talk about sex 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 is actually the the two signs of sex are are Gemini and Libra are the two main signs of sex Libra especially or I'm sorry also the seventh house but the seventh house is where we're having like sex and intercourse with another person again I don't mean to be glib because there's all kinds of sexuality that can revolve around many different forms that don't even involve another person but when you're talking about a relationship that pulls you into a dynamic with another person this is Libra and seventh house and also Gemini is a very um, important sign for sex it's literally two people but when you're talking about what makes sex possible and again I mean this kind of sex with another person where you and them are engaged it's not some kind of Mars conquest it doesn't mean that that's not a flavor or a form of sex or a component of it the negotiated or the sexual um, interaction that you'll have with another person is totally based on their consent at least the kind of sexuality that is liberating and that brings the Libra lesson to life or the Venus lesson to life again there's the kind of and there's a component of let's say sexuality that has the Mars component which is I want that especially from the man's point of view it has to be like okay for lack of a more enlightened way to say it I want to get some of that right and the masculine um, energy to pursue but again and we see this is a big theme in our world these days with all kinds of patriarchy and sexual abuse like in the news the Harvey Weinsteins and the and the Roger Ailes and Bill O'Reilly and the President Trump and his history and what we know about all that to not take something that's not been consented to and again so that whole consent and that whole beauty that flows from consent and um, mutual happiness and pleasure is the Libra principle and again because in an enlightened sense Libra and Venus is the is the energy that says if my happiness comes at your expense if I have to take it from you or not even ask your permission then I don't enjoy it then I'm not growing then I'm not feeling the beauty and the joy either and so let's see where this guy's going and so this whole nature of Libra energy is that quality of of seeing our pleasure and happiness magnify because not only do we want it but the other person also wants to give it and again sex is a good way to see it but it's also business partnerships or any kind of negotiated agreement that's why when I say it's not a business relationship where like I'm your boss and I get to tell you what to do and you have to do it whether you like it or not that's not Libra energy you know that's very much sort of Leo Virgo depending on which side of the equation you're on or parent child relationship again it's very different it's not the negotiated agreement where I can leave if I don't want to be in the partnership anymore 
So those are going to be big themes for the next 30 days, how you handle those negotiated adult relationships. So this new moon has joined Jupiter and Mercury, which also brings together the skill and communication of Mercury with the higher picture and the larger vision of Jupiter. So we've seen a lot of these themes in the news about relationships and bringing social and relationship justice to the forefront. I talked about this as soon as Jupiter went into Libra. I have a whole web class on this that you can see. And again, we've, this issue is now becoming huge. And I talked about this again when Jupiter went into Libra that we were going to see. It's a time of relationship enlightenment and equality and, um, you know, wisdom. So this is why we're seeing themes and abuses of women and relationship in the news a lot. Also, since the nodes went from Leo, or since Rahu went from Leo into Cancer. So we're going to see more of this issue coming out. Also, this is in the nakshatra of Chitra, which is related to um, the celestial architect who is a builder. So this is a great time to really build consensus um, in your life and really build relationship um, joy and happiness. Um, and not just, uh, you know, relationship happiness, but also beauty in all forms. Um, and, <clears throat> but of course, that quality of Chitra and the celestial architect does translate in the Libra sense to building something more of like a social structure not necessarily a physical structure as much, although that's certainly there as well. So it can be quite an artistic time. Um, and so you'll, you may find that this is a time for you to really, you know, let's say, build some things like around your home, um, even like with your spiritual practices, like, you know, like beautify your altar space and all of that. It's a really good time to be doing that. But it's mainly going to be a focus on your relationships and the way that you are dealing with people. Um, again, that Mercury-Jupiter conjunction in Libra also really helps to facilitate a lot of wisdom and understanding unfolding at this time, and also your capacity and ability to speak about these things, to be honest about these things, maybe to apologize to those who you have mistreated, men or women, you know, to really, you know, to get real about these themes and issues in your life and, you know, be honest about them and to really examine them. You know, I'll, I'll just say this on a personal note, you know, I've, I, I'm, I made a recent video and, you know, update about this um, when the whole, you know, Harvey Weinstein scandal came forth and most people understood this and see this as being just pretty obvious that in the last year, We've, you know, we've had the leaders of every major industry. One of them we elected president, who is who, is on tape as being a, just deplorable behavior toward women. Harvey Weinstein is like the most powerful man in Hollywood. Like the whole movie industry was afraid of this man. Roger Ailes was the most powerful man in network TV, in like news TV of Fox News. Bill O'Reilly again, another giant where these are people who had power that they used against more vulnerable females it's obvious it's just stating facts and it's remarkable the backlash that people just don't want to hear it they don't dispute the facts they just don't like hearing it because they don't like they just don't like hearing the issue or like oh well here you are with your liberal whatever these are just stating facts this isn't even a judgment so I understand that some people don't like to hear this stuff, especially if they like the president or they don't like liberals or whatever their, whatever that, that sort of gnarly opinion is. But again, this is a time to just see this issue and examine it. Just look at the data. It's not like making something up. These are real issues. And so this is a great time with the Mercury-Jupiter, especially with Mercury there, to really examine this and examine it in your own life and see how maybe there's some entitlement and some, some, 
you know, some overlooking of the um, issue, not just not just women's issues or whatever, but in your life, how you are dealing with relationships, and that includes women. I'm not just saying men. I'm saying for women too to examine how they are showing up and in in relationship to other people because women mistreat men too and women mistreat each other it's not a gender thing I'm using the gender as an obvious indicator of what's happening because it has been happening but we can see this is a Libra theme right now and it's being so magnified because of a lot of the transits in the sky but it's a time for us for the next 30 days to really examine the imbalances in our relationships and to be honest about it and to speak about it with each other and to build something and build a structure that's more worthy of our spiritual self.